there. Welcome to the channel. It's uh, very serious. Uh -huh. It is. Um, what is it? Twelve oh one, Sunday the nineteenth of. October drum. Right. Come on. Let's go. We're away. Go in. We're going. Welcome to the channel. Hey, we go. So today uh, it's been not bad day. Uh, no, it's been terrible day. What are you talking about? It's been terrible. It's been absolutely terrible and awful. <laughs> uh, it's been terrible. So today we've had scary women. <laughs> um, I'm still learning, I'm still learning how to deal with them. The um, best way to deal with them is don't deal with them. It's the best of advice. And, um, you know, like keep away from them. So I had uh, somebody that I knew years ago, and I recognised her, I haven't seen her for 20... See that BMW? It was indicating to its right, and it didn't cancel to turn and indicate to come off the roundabout so I'm, even though the direction of the vehicle so I'm indicating it come off now right in the left right it didn't do that right so I wasn't sure if it was going to keep coming round even though I could see that it was going in the direction of um, to come off so Get a, get a grip of yourself, BMW driver. Right, so this lady, mate, I haven't seen her for 20... Let's think about this. 2005? Yeah, 20... 19 years ago. Maybe it was 2000. Might have been 2006, aye. Might have been 19, 18 or 19 years. I wasn't sure if it was her or not. Um, so, uh And said, "Are you this person's ex?" And I says, "No." Um, and she's looking at me like she knows who I am. She's looking at me, going, and I just sort of like looking at her. <laughs> she knew, and I knew. So what do you do? Just carry on lying? I says, "Look, I'd rather." I'd rather forget about that. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather forget about that um, era of my life. So we've been overtaken, perfect bit of overtaking the and we've got the. Oh, well, it's a wee bit, it seems to be a bit. No, it's not tight, it's just that they're not pulled over enough. They've got a propensity to be on the left side of it. So, uh, yeah, so it was about. It's just a bit, well, well, not awkward, but I'd rather not, well, yeah, it's just that you, you've got to be careful what you say, I suppose, and, well, it could get back to somebody else, it's best to stay out of it, you know, I don't want to get involved in games, gameplay, So that wasn't really annoying, it was probably a bit annoying now since I used so-and-so's ex. Because it, it's a bit... It's a bit demeaning, maybe. Well, I wouldn't mean it, but... Anyway, so the one was a scary woman. Uh, and it, it's like, I know she wants to have a fight with me or something. So um, yeah, you meet some rights. The, the, the most annoying people at Carbuses are definitely 
scary women. <laughs> ah, right. Ah, scary women. Now, what's the script here? Branches or something, eh? You know, it looks like it, doesn't it? So it's like, I mean, you can't really be rude to somebody, but I've landed up beside this woman. So it's like, what do you do? I think the next, I think what I'm going to do next time is say, look, just move on, move on, <laughs> and I, the past is the past, I just, I, I really don't want to talk about my ex or anything like that, because it's, it's just, it's potentially troublesome. German saying, meet you on the way up and then meet you on the way down. So you just gotta work out who's on the way up and who's on the way down to me and that lady, and I would say I'm on the way up. So that's why you have to kind of be, I think what it really means is. Vaguely respectful to people, you know, but because because you knew them and you're involved with them, you know a lot about them. So it's weird because I've seen this lady for the last like probably three weeks. I've been beside her and I never spoke to her. Why? So that was, but I didn't know. The lady who I wasn't sure, and it, because this lady, like, she did she told me this one she had cancer or something, so I so obviously she doesn't look the same as what she did. And then, but it was like, uh, so it's like, why am I not speaking to her? And I was working on the basis that <laughs> this is crazy, <laughs> I was working on the basis that if it isn't her. There's somebody that's like her, and I don't want, I don't want to make, get to know them, because it'd be like them. Like, you say, is that her sister or something? Like a psycho sister that I didn't know about. Wow. Got a Toyota giving a Yahoo! Yes! Floor it! Yeah! So, yeah, okay, I think I'm rambling on about that. It's just one of these things. So, is, you got, I've got to ask, well, I'm, I, you could be asking me, well, what are you scared of? You know, and I think I, human beings, like the way I've been, I'm scared. What am I scared of? You know, it's a bit like you've got your castle. You know, you don't want to get it coming, like, try and climb up the, the drawbridge or something, or climb up the walls. Or throw a bomb in it or something, like you know, or get involved with somebody that's in the castle and trying. That I mean, really, when you know when. So I've been divorced twice, right? So let's just talk about this. When when your relationship you have, in my case, it was with women, right? Uh, twice I got married and I had children to, to both of them. So I have five children, so if your relationship isn't really that strong, somebody so like, like you like this is this isn't for me, this is for anybody that's going through some kind of breakup or divorce or something. If if somebody's able to get in there and, and like muscle their way into your relationship, whether that be somebody sleeping with your ex or your no, sorry your partner or wife, husband, whatever way around it is, or somebody is even pals with them or something, it could be a girlfriend, well, a woman friend, but another woman, 
if they're able to get in there and start chiseling away at your marriage or your relationship, you might not be married, you know, you might be like, you might have children or you, children with them or whatever. If somebody's able to do that, that means it's not that strong. I suppose this sounds obvious, yeah. I've never actually really said this before. So the reason that people were able to do that with my marriage was because it wasn't that strong, let's face it. And maybe both parties didn't really want to be there. But the problem, obviously the biggest, well the problem is that when you have children with somebody, that there's a, that's a, 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 like a massive problem. Um, so you can't really just move on and go, I don't give a fuck, you know. Uh, you can't do that because it, that's an undeniable fact that you produce children by that person, whether man, woman, whatever way around it is, and therefore you have a responsibility. But it, you know, I think in my scenario, my children have grown up, so I think there comes a point where you're no longer responsible for them, which is when they're adults, to a certain extent. There's some level of responsibility. I would say in the situation with me is that there's not really a lot I can do, you know, if the participants in this thing don't want to know. What can I do? Nothing, you know, so it's like, there's no point in getting yourself, say like, um, involved uh, with trouble for nothing, or getting yourself compromised even, you know. It's very, very difficult, but see, I'm at the other side of it, I mean, I'm happily divorced, you know, uh, so I'm very happy about that, and it's, I didn't, I didn't, obviously I didn't like it at the time, and it was terrible, and trauma and everything, and all the problems that went with it, being, being not being near your children and everything like that. Uh, there comes a time when you've got to step back. It's almost like I'm doing all the work, you know. So no, if you want to see me, you know where I am, you know, get in touch. Otherwise, look, I'm out of this weird game, you know. If you want to carry on really behaving like children. A lot of adults behave like children, you know. So it's, I suppose that, that German phrase, you meet, you meet them on the way up, you meet them on the way down, is quite a good, a good phrase, I think. And I would like to think I'm on, on my way up, and what I mean by that is I'm, I'm still, I'm still developing. I've not given up, you know. I'm still, I'm still uh, trying to improve myself, improve my life. And, I've, and even though the goals have been a bit skewed with of late, I'm still in there. And I'm trying to get on with things. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. So I need to get into the art and everything, and get try and get in the studio this week. I'm a bit concerned because I've got a summer house, which is an art studio, and I'm not. I'm a bit worried. Because it's just a summer house that some of the material inside will get damp. So I need to get in there and get out of the habit of using the place to put the heater on. I've got an air sourced heater in it. Yeah, so so much for the storm. I have to say, it's been a bit slightly disappointing actually. You know? Uh, it's been a lot of rainwater about. Enjoyed that that video. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Maybe we'll get you in the next video. You can send me a snotogram on Twitter. I won't even fucking read it. So fine, go ahead. Um, 
you can send me a friend request on Facebook. Good luck with that, because I've got a setting just tightened up that you can't do that. Unless you've got a mutual friend. So I'm just teasing you. Well, you can still try. And there's uh, guys working there on Sunday. They've got their vehicles there, tractor. Uh, yeah. Four the four. Pans. Yep. So I don't know what time they finish. Sunday afternoon. Right, so thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. I'm going for coffee. I am going for coffee. I am going for coffee. coffee. Ah, yes. I'm indicating to the right. There's a car right behind me. Hell. What's wrong with that stupid bastard? Huh?